Hi guys, Jacob here. Welcome to Cars and Adventure and today we're heading to the Nürburgring. Let's go. <laughs> What's the plan? Well, currently we are in Norfolk. Me and the girlfriend have been here for the weekend with her family. It's been a really nice time. Even got to go on some old RAF airfields. Um, one was actually completely open and you could drive on it, um, which was really good. Really enjoyed that. But now the interesting, more interesting part happens. We are heading to the Nürburgring, but not straight away. Um, we're first of all going to visit Brussels. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a three part video, a one part video. I, I, I don't know how many parts to this video there is going to be, but we're going to head to Brussels, then the Nürburgring, then back to Bruges. It's going to be an awesome adventure and the Kia Stinger will finally get to show us what it's made of, which I'm very much looking forward to. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's head to Dover and catch a boat in absolutely terrible weather. It's going to be so much fun. Let's go. So after the drive, we have finally made it to Dover. Um, actually checking in wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, we've gone with DFDS because according to Auto Alex, best food. So we thought we had to treat ourselves. Um, Dover itself, it's got a pretty castle. I wouldn't come here on holiday. Um, but apart from that, yeah. We have made it, so now we just need to wait for the ferry to arrive and then I guess we board it, but we, I have no clue because I've never done this before. just arrived now in Brussels in by far the poshest car park and the cleanest car park I've ever been to. Um, also you get nice lights to tell you where to park and also you get natural sounds of birds in a car park but I have just noticed this which has put a smile on my face an absolutely beautiful mini GP3 in the corner number 2321 so Obviously, it's a good car park because if he parks here, it must be pretty good. Anyway, to the hotel. Look at the ducks. It's pretty cool. But we all know well, who the real ducking is. The natural duck. Um, yeah, it's quite cool, this. I do like these. That is Brussels done. So now 
we are heading to the Nürburgring today, which I am very excited for. But first, let's grab some journey snacks. And also, we're going to make a slight detour today because we can't clock in till after four. So, we're going to go to the Netherlands, because why not? And this is the main fountain, one of the main fountains in Brussels. Very sweet. And they've got rubber duckies at the end, which is quite cool. Uh, but yeah, overall, very cool city, would recommend. Snacks found, now we just got to find the car. <laughs> which I know it's in a car park somewhere up here, but and hope the car's still in one piece. Fingers crossed. The world's poshest car park and the Mini GP is still here. That's pretty cool. Um, right, car. I can see it. I can see it. It's in one piece. It survived. Yes. Great success. So we are now driving in Brussels, even though that says bus taxi, but I'm guessing you're allowed to go round the bus tax. I'm guessing you're allowed to go in the bus taxi lane. I hope. Um, yeah, I'm just going to follow everyone else. It's the best plan. Um, I just got to remember to drive on the right hand side. But yeah, this is Brussels. Um, it's not as actually as difficult to drive round as I thought it was going to be. Um, it's actually easier to drive round than London. I know. <laughs> But yeah, it's actually quite easy to drive around and I don't mind it at all. It's also very pretty. So I think we're coming up to the first roundabout of the trip. Now rem I've got to remember, give way to the left, not the right. And this roundabout's a very bizarre roundabout because it looks there's a container ship. Container in the middle of it. Right, okay. Um, normal, I guess, right. Give way to the left, nothing coming to the left. Or as my missus said the other day, just just give way to all directions. <laughs> if you're unsure. But I, I, if anyone's like afraid to like drive in Europe, don't be. Oh, that is a roundabout. And you're not indicating as well. Okay. That, well, luckily I did stop because you didn't fucking indicate, you dickhead. <laughs> oh well, right. Let's go to the hotel and pick up Lizzie. So we headed to the Netherlands to have some lunch, which was a bit more of a hassle than we thought, but that's a story for another time. Anyway, we then headed to Germany and the action picks up of me entering the de-restricted autobahn for the very first time. Enjoy. So we are now on the autobahn. I put my head cam on to show you the amazing speed we're going at at 70. What we have found out is you may be able to go as fast as you want on these roads. The question of if you can go as fast as you can um, is a different question. Um, as you can see, there's traffic, quite a lot of traffic, and it's only two lanes across. So um, yes, you can go as fast as you want to, but um, whether you can or not is yeah different. But it is very pretty. So. I'm not too bothered that we're going a bit slow because it is absolutely stunning outside. Truck! <laughs> and that is why... <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch out on the autobahn. <laughs> Frick. Oh well. Oh wow, what a bridge. <laughs> well, this is cool. Apart from the lorries. That was another thing people told me about. Watch out for the lorries. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived at Apex at Nürburgring. Misha's place is just down there. We're all, I've already seen the new M5 in its camo has just gone up that hill. So I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know if it'd be coming back. And then also if you just go around the corner here, you can see the track is down there. 
So we're in a pretty good location. The only thing I have noted is it is quite dead around. I don't know if that's because it's not a weekend. Um, but anyway, track doesn't open today. It only opens tomorrow for like three hours. So that'll be my chance to go there. But yeah, it's, it's very pretty here. So we've just arrived underneath the main Nürburgring um, center. We're gonna hopefully find out information about how to get tickets to the track. Um, but this car park is definitely rather nice. We've got GT4, GT4, GT3, M4 CS, um, AMG GT, another AMG GT, Yaris GR, 911 Turbo. The selection here is quite nice. I'm not going to lie. My car feels very out of place. And a Mercedes B-Class because stands out but yeah we're gonna go to the main Nurburg ring now so we'll find out what we can do so we are now in the main Nurburg ring building you, the famous Nurburg ring sign is there and um, yeah it's pretty cool but pretty dead in here currently because um, the track was supposed to be open today, but it's closed for either a testing reason or they had a festival here. So that's one of the reasons. But yeah, it's currently quite dead. Um, so we're going to have like a mooch around, see what's around the track, see what there is to do. But there is not many people here. Um, and compared to all the videos you see online, they don't post about how it could get this dead. <laughs> and Lizzie's enjoyed herself. Oh, that wasn't a good thumbs up. There's more stuff here, even though it's dead. There is a cinema in there. There's like a museum, interactive stuff, a race seat where you can take a photo. And then only, uh, the only thing I've just noticed, there's a, there's a bloody roller coaster that goes through the ring. I don't know if it's ever opened. It looks like it's never been used, but it's still really cool. Um, yeah, it's a very cool place, this. It's just very dead, but never mind. <laughs> so we're now arrived on the side of the track they're testing today so i've already we've already seen m5 the new m5 estate um the regular m5 and i think the new cls 63 um we're now going to walk to youtube corner however where the car park is is already an awesome spot um but i think we'll go to the corner because that's where they fail the most but yeah it's rather cool <laughs> Um, we didn't go to the YouTube corner in the end, but um, we definitely had a great time. We're back at Apex now. We're just about to go out for food. It looks like we're the only people here at Apex, um, which seems to be a bit bizarre. However, um, just met Misha. He was walking back. The Nürburgring King. It was a pleasure to meet him. Um, he going back to his um, Vulcan Studios where they um, um, develop the cars. Um, but that was awesome. But yeah. Now I think it's time for some dinner because it's been quite a long day. So, before I go on track, I've got to show you some of the roads around here are incredible. Just look at what these roads around the Nürburgring are probably, well, I haven't been on the ring yet, but are probably just as good as the ring. Look at them. They are stunning. Unfortunately, they are quite busy, so um sometimes so traffic can get in the way but 
put it in Sport Plus, you'll see what I mean. We'll come up to the one of the hairpins here. It's rather special. Look at this for a road though. In you come. Just the roads are just... So, we've just arrived at the ticket office where we need to go buy the tickets for the lap. And the car park here is incredible. I have seen there are so many nice cars here. Um, we've got just everything. A load of Porsches, a load of BMW M products, Audi RS3, Mini Cooper, R53, Audi TT RS, M3, another ST. They've absolutely got everything here. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to be in the slow lane today and we'll be going very slowly around this track compared to everyone else but I'm going to have a smile on my face that's for sure. Right, that looks like the queue for the ticket office so we better head there. So we are now queuing up ready to go on the Nürburgring. I've met Miguel who is brave enough to join me in the car today. Um, hopefully it should be a good lap. On my birthday the Nürburgring it's going to be great. So we're about to do this, the Nürburgring, on my birthday. It's a pretty special track list. Uh, all petrol heads dream of going on it. And we are about to. Do you just tap it? Right. Are you ready, Miguel? To say I'm nervous is an undertaking, but <laughs> cars in Sport Plus. Oh, that's a bit tight. <laughs> Let's go. side, stay on the right hand side. Whoa, that's a steep. to go past me. I think that M2 wants yeah. to go past me. Oh, the KTM. <laughs> yeah. Something went off there already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bound to happen. Follow 
the Golf GTI. <laughs> we go past him. Let him know you can pass me mate. Oh someone's been off. Oh that's why because there's a massive yeah. Jesus Christ. No you feel the whole car knocked. Yeah. It just went sideways. Yeah. Yeah this track is Nope. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, you really have to know this track. Yeah. It is. There's this, like, Cause that's gonna have me. But I don't care. <laughs> he can have me. I'm. Oh. I have to open the window a bit. Oh no, that's a bad idea. It's so windy. <laughs> it's so warm in here without the aircon. <laughs> oh my god, this YouTube channel. The people go, why is he talking? Because I am concentrated so much to get around here in one piece. Oh my god. Oh, GT3 RS is about to absolutely demolish us, probably. Yep. Fucking hell, I'm freezing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get a bit of brake fade, I think. Yeah. Hog the right hand side. Let them do them. Is that a 90 speed limit? 90, yeah. Yeah, this is the area there it was today. This has a speed limit. Although, apparently, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, look how steep it is now. Yeah. It's crazy. We can keep up with the golf art of them on the straight. <laughs> In the corners, not a chance, but... This is nuts! Oh my god, it gets tied up! Yeah, I think your brakes are going to be cooked. Yep. Well, it's what this car's designed for. Different. Yeah, it's like a public road basically. Oh, why is everyone slowing down? Because the 
BMW. Carousel. Is it the carousel? I think so. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go through it. <laughs> it's very bumpy, this. <laughs> oh, My traction control was not giving me power at all. Yeah. Wow, that's so violent. That is not nice. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that in like a proper like I know. suspension car. I don't see any cameras though. <laughs> Oh, the really steep bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. I'll let him pass. An amazing day. I am full of emotions right now. Um, can't really describe it. It has just been absolutely incredible. Um, as you could tell, the camera died halfway through because um, my car not having air conditioning currently, um, it overheated. Um, but uh, that experience, I don't say, oh well, I'm definitely going back here. And if you're a petrol head, y you've got to come here. Right, I think that's going to be the end of the video because you can't top it. That that was incredible. I'm going to have my birthday meal and birthday dinner. But yeah, wow. See you around, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and yeah, see ya.